Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to set up Python and all of its necessary components for enabling scientific computing on a Windows PC. So the first thing that we are going to need is Python itself. So just, you know, Google Python and head over to the homepage. Now on the homepage, you can go to this downloads tab and then head over to the Windows since this tutorial is about Windows. However, I'll make a similar tutorial for Linux Ubuntu as well. Anyway, so once you are in Windows, then, you know, just uh, go to the latest Python release. And for this tutorial, we'll be using Python 3 because that is, you know, really most compatible uh, for a lot of libraries and packages that are needed for scientific computing. So once you're in this page, you know, Python 3.7.2 or any version for you, um, depending on when you watch this video, then head down and you will find a, you know, files here and then find a installer for Windows. So in my case, I will be installing Python on a 64-bit PC. Therefore, I'll choose this Windows x86 64 executable installer. So just go ahead and download it. It's around 25 MBs. However, I won't be downloading it as I have already downloaded it and it's on my desktop right here. So I'll just go ahead and install it by double clicking on it. So just say run here. And then um, you can either customize your installation. However, you can also install, you know, um, by just clicking on install now. So that is what I'm going to do. And for the sake of tutorial, uh, you know, I recommend that you guys do it as well. And also just, you know, um, uh, you know, check this tick box that is add Python 3.7 to path. So just, you know, tick that and click on install now. And then just wait for the installation to complete. And here it says that setup was successful, so that's great. So just go ahead and close it and, you know, go to your start menu and search for Python over there and just, you know, do a test run to see if it installed correctly. So here it is, Python 3.7, 64-bit. So just go ahead and launch it. And here you can see the, you know, good old Python terminal. So here I can perform, you know, something like A is equal to 5 and then print, I'm sorry, print and that's good so Python is working well on our PC also we can um, you know check and see if it works on the command line as well so so here is a sample Python script that I have here so it is a very simple program that is print you know a into 5.45 so we'll just go ahead and check it out so here it is on my desktop so um, I'll change my directory to the desktop and then just try to run this um, using um, debug.py. So here you see that, you know, when I run it like debug.py, then it says 27.25, which is the answer. So it means that the Python installation was successful and it's running well. And also that the path was, you know, added so to the environment variables or something like that. So therefore, you know, when we ran debug.py, it ran successfully. So that's it, that's how you install Python. Now the next step for, you know, enabling scientific computing is to install the necessary modules slash libraries on your, you know, py for your Python. So some of the common libraries that you'll be using are NumPy, SciPy, and SimPy. So the next step would be to install those. However, there's one intermediary step that is to install the package manager for Python, which is pip. So we'll be installing that. So for that, you'll head over to this link right here. I'll put this in the description down below then what you can do is you'll need to do uh, you know you'll need to download get pip.py file so I have already downloaded it on my computer so I'm you know here it is on my desktop get pip.py and then the next step that you need to do is you need to run it using your command line so just head over to you know command prompt um, hold on a second cmd and then change your directory to you know wherever you have that file and then just run that get pip.py and then hit enter so what this you know python script does is it basically uh, uses your internet connection to you know connect with the internet and then download the necessary pip or the python package manager so just wait for it to compile and install now, one thing interesting that I'm noticing here, which I didn't, you know, 
test out before in this video was I think that the Python package that we just installed shipped with you know a pip version 19.0.3 and I think that that should have been enough but I didn't know that so anywho we have installed pip once again and we can verify whether it's installed correctly or not by running pip hyphen v and uh, okay so that's great so it says that you know the you know it is giving us a lot of options that we can use with pip so that means pip has been installed very successfully so now the next step would be to use pip to install numpy scipy etc and that procedure is pretty straightforward as well so you just give the command pip install and then numpy for example and then hit enter and there you are so it says that it's collecting numpy and um, just wait for it to you know establish a connection and download it and install it okay so we are getting an error um that's weird um maybe i'll just run this command once again to check and see if there's was some issue with my internet connection or something like that okay so here it is so that definitely was an issue with my internet connection that we got that error because it's now working and is downloading the packages so we'll just wait for them to install and that's it so the you know numpy package was installed pretty successfully now similarly to install scipy all you are all you are going to need is to type scipy pip install scipy and then hit enter and similarly you know for simpy you can give the command pip install simpy so we'll just wait for them to download and then install. So that was scipy which installed pretty successfully as well now lastly we'll be installing simpy which is a python library for symbolic computation so just give the command pip install simpy and wait for it to install okay so that's simpy so now we have installed all the you know three necessary packages for scientific computing so next thing we are going to do is we are going to do a quick check to see whether these work or not so we'll just head over back to python so you can just launch it by you know typing in python and you start menu and then launching this but we already have had that open anywho so here is the python terminal and we can just try out import numpy i'm sorry numpy uh, okay so that's it and if this command runs without any errors which it did then that means that the you know package work was installed successfully and similarly we can import scipy which you know imported successfully as well and then finally we can try and import simpy which also you know is successful so that is it that is how you install python and get it running along with the necessary libraries such as numpy scipy simpy for you know scientific computing or programming so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it if you did, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.